Hello everyone. In this next video, as I mentioned in the, in the previous one, this is just going to be a, a con, con, continuation of adding the checkboxes, um, the coding for the checkboxes. So you should already have question one set up, and now we're just going to set up question two and three. On these, I'm just going to speed up the process and, and just go straight through it. Uh, just please make sure you're following along quickly. And again, all of, all of this must be set up accurately, because if not, when it comes to building the actual code to calculate the data, um, you will get an error if, if this is not set up properly. So I'm going to go on and get this set up here. I'm going to go on and double click the one and I'm going to do the same process that we had uh, for question one. So I'm going to copy the, the if statement and the only thing I'm going to do here is just change the one to a two now. So all we're doing it, so if question two, option A is clicked, if the value is true on A, set Q2 to B, C, D, and E as false. And I'm just going to use this code now uh, to go forward to the next ones, option two. So if B is true, then I'm going to set A, C, D, and E to false. If C is true, then I'm going to set A, B, D, and E to false. Four. The fourth option, which is D, if that value is true, then I'm going to set A, B, C, and E to false. And then now five, the the number five, which is option E. If Q2 E is true, then we need to set A, B, C, and D to false. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for number three. Just change up the uh, information. You don't want to have the the two. So if Q three A true, then set B, C, D, and E to false. Copy that. If B is true, then A, C, D, and E will be false. Q three C is true then set A, B, D, and E to false. If Q3D is true then set A, B, C, and E to false and then last if E is true then set A, B, C, and D to false. So all this coding is just going to make sure that your end user can only select one option from the checkboxes and I'm gonna go on and just test this out take us out of design mode put us into production mode checkbox one that works and I'm just gonna go through them real quick just to make sure we're set up properly alright we're all set you wanna make sure that you test it before you proceed so just make sure you set up your checkbox to encoding correctly and again, all this does is just make sure that your user can only select one checkbox. We haven't got into the coding as to um, how this how this information will calculate. So in the next video, I'm going to show how do we can add coding on the clear survey button. That way, when you select clear survey, this label gets reset and all of your checkboxes get blanked out. That way, the user can start off with a with a clean survey.